What's up guys, welcome back to Nervousal. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can get all the permanent fruits in Blocks Fruits for absolutely free guys. Yes guys, I found a glitch to get yourself all the permanent fruits in Blocks Fruits right now for absolutely free. So I'm basically going to show you guys how to do this glitch in this video. So uh, yeah guys, let's get on to this video. So first off, all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go over to the Blocks Fruit dealer right now right here just like this now go ahead and click on the blocks with dealer just like this now i guess i do is click on that and click on continue just like this now go ahead and go to the top and basically click on the kilo fruit click on it just like that and click on the robux icon right here do not worry guys you're not gonna buy anything in here all you guys can do just click on the robux icon and basically cancel just like that uh, as you guys can see so after you do that all you guys can do just basically do that to every single fruit so uh, yeah, basically all you guys can do is click on the Robux icon and cancel and cancel just like this. Like that. Basically keep doing this to every single fruit over here. Okay, you have to do this to every single fruit so you guys can get every single fruit guys. So uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, you guys can click on the same fruit again, guys, okay? So, just saying. If you guys forgot uh, that you clicked on it, you guys can basically click on it again to make sure that you clicked on it. Alright. Spike, I did it. Flame. Okay. Of that falcon. Okay, just like that. Falcon, done. Ice. Ice, done. Of that we got sand, sand done just like that. After that dark, dark done too. After that revive, revive is done too. Diamond done. Light, I already have light, so I don't have to do that. So, yeah, if you guys already have like fruits that you can equip, you don't need to do it to those fruits, guys. Okay, so yeah, and I already have dragon, and finally, leopard, just like that. So, I have done every single fruit in here now. Now, after you have done that, all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go over to like the uh, like the jungle area over there. So basically, fly over to the jungle area. Basically, fly over just like this. Now, in the jungle area, all you guys can do is just basically get yourself a quest. So, if you guys are a new player, you have to level up until you get to the jungle area, guys. And, uh, basically get a quest from this guy right over here. As you guys can see, click on this guy and basically get any quest that you like. So, I'm just gonna basically get myself gorillas right over here. Confirm just like this. Now, basically, all you guys can do is just complete that quest. So, just like this. Alright, basically kill some gorillas. Okay, that's a monkey right there. I killed a monkey before. Okay, no, gorilla. So, I think gorillas are over there. Yep, they're over here. Okay, so, uh, yeah, basically what you guys can do is just defeat some gorillas. Okay. Gorillas or any, like, quest that you took from that guy. Just basically complete it, guys, okay? Alright. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna use superhuman right over here because it's easier than using like the dragon Okay, all right, I'm almost done with the quest Okay And Just one more and I'll be done Okay, I'm just gonna wait until it spawns Okay, it's found. Now you guys can do this basically complete it and yep, I am done. Now to do that, all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go back over to the starting area of the game. Okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna teleport right over here. As you guys can see. Now when you're over here, all you guys can do is just basically set your spawn. So basically set your spawn like this. Accept, set spawn. 
Now, after you do that, all you guys got to do is just go ahead and go over to the middle town. So, uh, yeah. Alright. Just fly or take a boat to middle town. Now, when you're in middle town, all you guys got to do is just basically go ahead and go over to the weapons dealer right over here. Click on him just like this. And basically pick any weapon that you like in here. So, I'm just going to click on the flint knock right here. Click on purchase right here. Now all you guys gotta do is just basically use that weapon to uh, like kill some enemies in the pirate starter area. So uh, yeah. Alright, basically uh, find yourself the flint knock if you guys don't know where it is in your inventory. So uh, yeah. As you guys can see, I cannot see my flint knock in my uh, like the, the section, like the selection section. I don't know what to call this. Basically, as you guys can see, there's no flint knock over here. So basically, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go to items right over here and basically find yourself the flint knock. Okay, this is the one. As you guys can see, now I have the flint knock. So uh, yeah. So basically, use that weapon to defeat some enemies over here. Oh, right. And that's one right there. Two should be enough, guys, okay? So, uh, yeah. And finally, two right there. Now, after you do that, all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go over to any of the islands and basically take yourself a quest. So, I'm just going to basically take a quest from here. Okay, you guys can take any quest that you like, guys, okay? So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to take the bandits quest right over here because it's the easiest to do. Just like this. Now, after you take that quest, all you guys can do is just basically, uh, like, uh, complete that quest. That's all you guys can do. Okay, let me just go uh, right. Wait, I want to complete this quest in one go. Okay, done. So, uh, yeah, now after you do that, all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go over to the blocks with dealer like this. Click on continue right here and basically click on any of the fruits, guys. So, I'm just gonna click on the leopard one right here, click on our right here, just like this. Click on cancel on it and click on cancel on it. Now click on exit just like that. So as you guys can see, I am getting close to the place. I don't remember the, the name of this place. All right. All you guys can do is just get over here. Now when you're here, all you guys can do is just basically at least kill like five NPCs. Not five guys, three NPCs. Just three NPCs, not five. So uh, yeah, basically kill like three NPCs and you'll be good to go. So, uh, yeah, that's one right there. So if you are like, a, uh, uh, if you're like a player on the first C, this would be a little harder than it looks guys. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Okay. That's two right there and three, just like that. As you guys can see right there. Now, after you do that, all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go over to the quest giver in here. So, uh, yeah, he's somewhere over here. I don't remember. Um, I think he's over here. Yeah, as you guys can see basically all you guys gotta do is just click on this guy So basically interact with him guys. That's all you guys gotta do now after you do that All you guys gotta do is just basically go up the stairs and find yourself the boss now You guys gotta do is just basically damage the boss guys All you guys gotta do is just damage him you can kill him if you guys want to but uh, damage is all it needs So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try and kill him Okay, and he's super low Okay, boom, he's dead. So, uh, yeah, now after you do that, all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go over to the quest giver again, just like this. Click on him, click on him, just like that. And basically, all you guys can do is just interact with him, as I said before. So, uh, yeah, now after you do that, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to this advanced weapon dealer right here, click on him, and basically interact with him. That's all you guys can do. So, uh, yeah, just like that. Now, after you do all those things, all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go back over to, like, the, uh, the, the Parastart area. I sometimes forget names of these things, dude. Okay, so, yeah, basically teleport over to there. Teleport or basically take a boat if you guys don't have the teleport. So, yeah, now all you guys can do is just basically get over here. Now, when you're over here, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to, like, the blocks with delay again. Click on him. 
just like this click on continue go down until you see the last one click on view on it and click on the robux icon just like this and cancel cancel just like that and exit just like that now after you do that all you guys gotta do is just basically go ahead and go over to one of the board dealers click on them and click on any of these boats guys so i'm just gonna give myself the brigade right here as you guys can see all you guys gotta do is just get on this boat like this now when you're on this boat all you guys gotta do is just drive it a little so it doesn't really matter how uh, far you drive it all you guys gotta do is just drive it a little now all you guys gotta do is just jump off and basically die while you're staying close to the boat as you guys can see just like that as you guys saw right there now after you do that all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go over to the set home point guy right here and basically interact with them again just like this so uh, yeah guys now after you do all those things all you guys can do is just basically wait until the blocks with dealer shop refreshes and when it refreshes you would basically get yourself all the fruits permanent in blocks fruits right now so yeah guys that is it from me i guess i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye